This is going to be exciting. And on track, front and center, is the sprinting sensation that everybody is talking about, Shakari Richardson. She's already won the 100 here, of course. She's trying to do something that hasn't happened at the U.S. Nationals since 2003, and that is to pull off the 100 and 200 meter double. And based on her first round race, she is well capable of doing just that. Let's introduce you to the field as the women take their spots. As we said, this is going to be exciting because everyone has been running so well. Shakari is in the zone, but she's got competition. How close will that competition get? Let's start in lane nine with Kayla White. She made it to the semifinals here at the US Championships, the 2019 NCAA Indoor Champion in the 200 from North Carolina a and T. She was seventh in this final last year. National champion a couple of years ago, Sonia. This is Gabby Thomas. And she's the fourth fastest woman ever at this event. I talked to her coach, Tanja Buford Bailey. She feels like she's in better shape than she was that season and thinks she's ready for something super special here tonight. Lane seven, it's Abby Steiner. Last year, she was the US champion in this event. She then went on to get fifth at the World Championships. Personal best 2177. Guarantee you, three people aren't beating her. What a field we have. <laughs> this is Tamara Clark. She was second last year. She's run under 22 seconds. She looked really good in the round. She's super dangerous, especially in the final phases of the 200. In line five, Shakari Richardson told Lewis Johnson the other night, I'm ready. I'm here. I'm not just here, but I'm better. She showed me some athletic maturity earlier today by not running the semifinal all out. She took it easy, but her personal best of 22 flat, I think, has another 20 seconds of life. She's going to run under 22. I think she makes the team. This is T.T. Terry, 20 Terry. She was only sixth in the 100 meters, which is actually her better event. And she said, I had a couple hours to feel how I felt about it and then come in today and use another opportunity and another shot to make this team. Can you imagine just coming from up the road, being 17 up against this field, in this field. That's Mia Brahe Pedersen. I think this is one of my favorite stories of the entire weekend. A high school junior, and yet she has made both national finals. Listen to this crowd. She's from Oregon, fourth in her semi to get here, and nothing but experience to be gained for the young superstar. Talking of experience, how about two national titles? That's Jenna Prandini. But not having the best season, she was only fourth in her semifinal. That's how come she ends up with this poor lane draw but she's on her home turf. She's made many teams before, so she'll need to pull on that experience to run her best race today. And Gabby Thomas probably looked at this lane draw and went, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a great race for me. <laughs> she loves this track. Her personal best is on this track. She'll be on the outside in eight, Steiners in seven, and they all better watch for young Miss Shakari Richardson in five. There she is. The world lead is 2171, set just a few minutes ago by Sharika Jackson, the world champion. Toyota Women's 200, final. Stand up. Oh boy. <laughs> There's movement. Yes. There's movement. They're anxious. This is a phenomenal field. As it we is. were going through the lanes, I <laughs> was is. like, this is. It is. Because a lot of times what happens is the big stars pull out of the 200, right? They win the 100, they do well, and the 200 becomes somewhat watered down. Not, Not this year. <laughs> Not the this year. The athletes have shown up and shown out, and I think this is going to be a really fast 200 meter race. Here's another thing, and it, it bears mentioning. When I talked to Tanja Buford Bailey, she said the reason why she has so much confidence in Gabby Thomas's ability to make this team. It's not just because she's Gabby Thomas, it's because she didn't run the 100. Usually yes. she's yeah. coming into the 200 yes. with the rounds of the 100 in her legs. No such situation this time. So it's not out of the question that Gabby Thomas runs a personal best here. She's got a clear head too. All of her studies are finally done. She does. She's also <laughs> been running great 400s, as you know, son. And hundreds. All right, let's reset. Let's go again.
Better this time for the Toyota Women's 200 final. Shakari Richardson responded to the gun amazingly, and she's going to try to create separation because she knows that everybody else is going to be coming. She leads off the turn. Look at that white leg sock on the left of your screen, though. Here comes Gabby Thomas. Gabby Thomas is not going to be dominated here. Thomas is going to get another national title. 21-59. That is a new world lead. So Tanja Buford Bailey was right. Not only was she ready to come here and win this race, another personal best on this track for Gabby Thomas. Wow. And that familiar smile that we saw when she ran her personal best here the last time. Tanja said, listen, when she ran 2161, it didn't rattle Gabby because she had done it before. And she looks like an athlete that has been here before. Shakari looked good off the turn, but it's Gabby's strength from running those 400s, running those 100s, and really fine tuning and focusing on her pet event that paid off big for her today. Yeah, this wasn't really close. Shakari did a great job off the turn, but the experience, as you said, and the strength, a world leading time, 2160. And wow, what a clash this is going to be between the Americans, the Jamaicans, and don't forget the rest of the world when we get to Budapest. And how about Kayla White in third? Wow. That is huge. Well done, Gabby Thomas. Took the fight to Shakari Richardson and went by her. All the women ran a phenomenal race. But that time now is finalized at a 21.60. It's a new world lead. It's a meet record. Gabby beat her own meet record. And there's Shakari. She, she goes to Hungary for both the 100, 200. Let's hear from Gabby Thomas with Lewis. All righty, after signing a few autographs, after blitzing the field, Gabby, how did it feel to come across the line in such a dominant fashion? Um, it felt really good to reclaim my title. Coming here last year and being injured was really heartbreaking for me. So I was really ready this year and I was hungry. I wanted it more than I think anyone. So I'm just so excited. My team up to, uh, teammates up in the booth are talking about the strategy that you and Tanja Buford Bailey worked out. No yeah. hundred rounds in your legs. How much did that help you be successful today? I mean, she really had to convince me not to do the hundred. And I really had my doubts up until yesterday, really. But I think it was good. I, we had to be conservative this year and it hit off, obviously. All righty, congratulations. We'll see you in Hungary as well. Yes, you'll see me there. <laughs>